Hello and welcome to Hometown Hero, and we should be back to two uploads a week. Thank you to all the new people watching. I know there are actually a few of you now. Um, obviously not loads, but you know there's a couple of you that, that seem to seem to watch and seem to like it. So you know if even one person watches it and likes it, then I'll keep doing it. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope you stay. And uh, apologies for the big break. Um, the reason mostly is that I'm a Middlesbrough fan. And they made me hate football. Uh, it's 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 that simple. I needed a couple of weeks just to recalibrate because my god was shit, and the shit that they were passing off as football just depressed the shit out of me. So I just had to get away for a, just just a little bit just to just to recalibrate. But we're back and we're good to go. Uh, although I did then have another bit of an issue today where I did this whole intro. Um, we went over the games, we went over the goals, we did the whole first game, you know, I, 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 I picked up this story about how Semo Ramadan hadn't scored in 10 games and I'd had a talk with him and we went ahead and we, we played against uh, one of the best attacking teams in the league and we played and we won 5-2 and Semo Ramadan scored three goals and it was amazing and then I went to uh, end the recording and realised I hadn't started it. So... That kind of sucks, but we'll have to play. We're going to play Bath and Dartford today instead. We we did. It was supposed to be Bromley and Bath, but like I said, I done goofed. So just to catch us up on the games that we missed, uh, we played Tonbridge, beat them one nil. The Pope scored in the eighty second minute. We then played away at Greenwich, Danny Foster and Freddie Moncur with two. Uh, then away at Kingstonian three nil. Uh, Travis Cole drove quickly in the Pope, and then like I said, that Bromley game five two. Semo Ramadan scores three goals. Freddie Moncur and Joe Quigley both get on the score sheet as well. And you may see a dramatic uptick in goals there. Now the reason for that is we've changed formations. We've gone back to a 4-3-1-2. So we swapped tactics in the game against Greenwich. Uh, and since then we have scored 11 goals in 3 games. It took us 8 games to score 11 goals before that. So that is just a dramatic uptick in goals. So we're keeping it. Here's the league table. We are currently top. Uh, we've now won 5 straight in the league. We've extended our lead at the top to nine points, so we are pretty comfortable. Uh, we've still got two games in hand as well, so we are just absolutely starting to run away with it. Like I said, we've actually just beaten Greenwich as well, so so that's pretty strong. Gloucester, uh, the team they were predicted to come 17th, they're all the way up in third. Sutton United starting to slide back up the table again, although they're very up and down form-wise. Uh, pretty, pretty decent table here. So here is today's team. We've got Sharp in goal. Now, he's been approached by some other teams, so we gave him a new contract, so he should be sticking around. We've got Lewis, Obele, Cole, and Lindley. Uh, Lindley has really made this uh, right-back role his own since he's come in at this uh, position. Since we've dropped it back to a fullback, he's really made that his own, so he may well be sticking. Uh, Lewis is okay as well. He's playing pretty well out there on the left. He's probably our best player this year, I would say. Yeah, it looks like it. So in midfield, we've got Moncur playing the attacking central midfielder role. So he's going to bomb up and down, just uh, sort of supporting the, the, the attack. We've got McKenna in the deep line playmaker defend role. So he's just going to sort of sit here, spray passes around. And then we've got uh, Holland playing the ball winning midfielder. I'm not sure he's my ideal choice for it, but I don't really have anyone else that fits it better. Uh, so he's just going to try and win the tackles. He's going to lay it into McKenna, going to spray that out. Uh, Moncur is going to be bombing into the box late to get on the end of any crosses that are supplied by these guys. Well, it's worked really well so far, so I'm just hoping it works, continues to work now. Fleet have enough about them to see off the threat of Bath. Good. What are they playing? 4 2 3 1. 4 3 1 2. That is still such a great mustache. Marking Rashid Marshall tightly at all times. Should we do that? Where are you? Uh, Time mark. Go on then. Uh, pick up where you left off because you played so incredibly well and then I have faith in you just to get a little bit extra out of it and then let's go all right it's nice to be at home though see a few of our fans here nice away uh, and uh, completely empty although that's got to be a home end surely because unless of course they just all want to sit in the standing area only and nobody wants to see an early play up here to Ramadan. 
Uh, he has it taken away. I do like the, the black and white kit from Hall. Uh oh, oh, Obele. I thought he was going to be done. He got done a couple of times in the last game by that by that sort of ball. How is this still going on? 23 seconds in and it hasn't faded out yet. So we have got Adams down the left hand side. He's going to spread that in. Uh, hopefully, yet yeah, Lindley is back. That's not a great pass. Oh, okay. Jesus, still going. 40 seconds. This could be a record for length of opening highlight. Lewis into Moncur, into Eze, who is not a foul, but it comes back to Moncur, back to Lewis. Goes long to Ramadan. Does Ramadan keep it in? He does. And he... Oh, quickly! Over the bar. Oh. A chance from the opening highlight. And quickly nods it over. It's gone down as a clear-cut chance as well. Oh, Quigley needs to do better with that then. If that's if it was that clear. Oh man, five shots, 65% possession. Nothing worthy of a highlight yet though. Come on guys. Getting too much space for his crosses. Let's close him down to half time. And we're going to go in. Six shots, two on target, two off target. Was that three woodwork? We can still win today. Yeah, they, I'm, just, I'm not going to mess with it too much. All right, come on, let's let this one fade out. Or let's take the ball back. There we go. Deep ball, Smith. Oh no, Whitehead's there. Is he not offside? He looked massively offside there. Yep, yep, there we go. Okay, glad that came back. He looked, he looked massively offside. I'm glad the linesman was able to catch that one. That's... Okay, we haven't hit the woodwork. One clear-cut chance, one half chance. All right, Lewis with the throw-in. He goes up to Quigley, goes back to Lewis. Where can Lewis go with this? Does he cut inside? He's going to continue down the line. Now he cuts it inside to McKenna, who spreads it into Moncur. So much space for these guys. Cuts it into Eze. Does he go back? Oh, he tries to slide that in. It hasn't worked. Into Holland. Out to Lindley. Gets it into Ramadan. Oh, it's deflected around the post. Ramadan going for his fourth goal in two games, of course, after that hat-trick yesterday. Or oh, last game, sorry. Holland with the corner. It's deep. Quigley. Ooh. Is that a throw into us as well? I believe it is. Do we? Nope, we don't get a chance from it. I really thought that, that, was, that we were going to get somewhere there. Wow, they've taken off one injured player and brought on another one. Oh my god, it's actually, we're going to bring on both new strikers. Oh, of course, last game, we win 5-2, have an incredible game, and it's amazing. And then this one, we draw 0-0. Typical. Smith. Davy, Oh! Oh, Harvey's going to get on it. That was a good pass from Moncur into Davy, but... A save made by Harvey. And it looks like we're going to limp to a nil-nil here. Although it's Lewis on the edge of the box. Holland. Oh, he's going backwards. I don't really want him going backwards. It's up to Moncur again. Gets it into Holland. Can we get it into the box? Get it into the box. There's so many players in the box. Someone get it into the box. Just stop passing it on the edge of the box. Put it into the box, one of you! Moncur. Oh, sneaks it in there. It's Eze. Gets it back to Holland. Into Lindley. Oh, oh my god. I don't want my right back taking more shots. 16 shots. Unbelievable. Cole. Into Moncur. Into Eze. Into the Pope. Into Holland. Up to Lindley. It's low. Oh, okay. Man, we've had so much of the game, but we just haven't been able to... It's the kind of game where you feel like it. if we could have just put one in, you really feel like the floodgates would have opened, but it just hasn't worked that way, and it ends up being a nil-nil draw. Here we go, game number two. I'm really disappointed in that last one. After forgetting to record that excellent 5-2 game, of course I end up in that shit nil-nil draw. But hopefully... We get a couple of goals here at least. It's pretty much the same team. We've just brought back Foster for for Eze because Eze, uh, 
But I mean, Foster's had a pretty decent season. Eze wasn't great in that last game, so we're gonna give. Uh, we're gonna go back to Foster, and we're gonna see if we can win this time. Dartford have found it difficult on their travels of late, and I can't see that changing in this game. I've got to go for a fleet home win. Okay. Well, they're playing a 4-4-2. That's what Bromley were playing when we smashed them around as well. Uh, passionate. Should be win. Nope, they didn't like that. Of course, of course they didn't. Um, so here we go. Let's hope this does well. Uh, tactically... It's a tweaked version of a uh, of an online tactic um, that is similar in style to the old three four one uh, four three one two that I used to use. Um, it's all, it's actually very similar, uh, except that we've put oh oh Moncur Moncur Mon oh that's a foul surely. Oh, except we've put things like put the target man back in because that's what Quigley likes to play, things like that. So we've tweaked it for the team, but it is actually based on... Uh, oh, Sharp catches it. Um, can't remember the guy's name. Jesus Australia or, or something like that. If if people want it, I, I can link it. Um, I may link it in the in the description anyway if I, if I remember. But it is sort of a... Um, a tweaked version of, uh, of that. It's based on that. Like I said, it, it's very similar to one that I had sort of when we started this save anyway. But just uh, figured I should give credit where it's due, obviously. Come on, oh, Remedan's not going to be able to catch up to that. Oh, we may get on that, though. That is not a good back pass from Haran, and Ramadan eats it up. Fifth minute, 12th goal of the season. Ramadan heating back up. Haran is going to be pretty embarrassed. Look at this. McKenna passed pretty much into nowhere. It's into a channel, but Haran, I mean, what's he doing there? And then a good finish from Ramadan. And we're 1-0 up after five minutes. And we've had a pretty decent start here. There may be a few goals in this game. It's into Foster. Gets that into Quigley, who goes long. Oh, I thought that may actually have just snuck over to Ramadan, but not quite. There are definitely goals in this game. That's over the top of our belay as well. And that's probably a goal too. Yep, that's a goal as well. That is where Obele falls down. He's not the quickest. So when someone lifts it over him, we may have to see if we can get the other centre back maybe playing as cover. So he sort of sweeps in behind if Obele is going to play up like that. Oh, he can't be beaten like that, Obele. It's happening far too often recently. That's the free kick. McKenna gets it out to Foster, gets it into Holland. Are we just going to go for the, the long bang-bang play? Holland's holding onto it a bit too long for me here. He gets it back into Foster, and he loses it. See, Foster had to go inside there. There were so many free men inside. Moncur into Holland, up to Quigley. That's not a great pass either. McKenna back into Holland. Into Quigley, back to Holland. Oh, nope, that's not a great pass. And he just stands there. He definitely could have got on the end of that. But instead, he just freaking stands there. And there's Candy in behind Obelay again. And now we're 2-1 down. Oh, my God. Genuinely unbelievable. Oh, okay. Samuel Ramadan has a facial injury. Foster. Corner. There's Ramadan. Yes! Even with a facial injury, he nods one in. 13th goal of the season. He's got two goals again, and it's 2-2. Foster with a good corner to the near post. And there's Ramadan. Just pulls off the near post and flicks it in. Goalkeeper is in the middle of no man's land. What's he doing out there? He doesn't know. Tom Holland has a thigh strain as well. So we're going to have to take him off. So we'll bring on uh, Eze to play. He's not going to be very good at that role, though. So let's swap him and McKenna, I think. And that's how we're going to have to play the second half. Aggressive. I'm not happy with your performance. And let's send him out for the second half. I mean, I am happy with uh, the fact that Ramadan has two more goals. But the fact that it's 2-2, man. And that's not great by Linley. He's, he's played really well down there on the right-hand side, mostly. But... 
That's not ideal. We're giving away too many of these free kicks. O'Keefe into Neil. He's got so much space. Get the tackle in. No, Ote. Did, like these two here stop playing and both go for offside. Keep play to the bloody whistle, guys. That's what we train you to do. Unbelievable. There's no way. He's nowhere near offside. What is? Oh, uh, what are they doing? What is that? So we're gonna go with an aggressive uh, show some passion again. All right, Obele. Into Lewis, into Moncur, into Foster, and that's a bad touch again. McKenna up to Quigley. Out to Foster, there's space on this left. Nope, he loses it again. Danny Foster, what are you doing? And Ote is in. Oh my god. He's missed. What is going on here, man? It's like they've got fucking stage fright from uh, being recorded. They were fine. They were fine. Ah, uh, let's bring on the Pope for for Quigley. And Obele has had pretty much just circles run around him. Oh my god, the space. That's a long ball. And Sharp only just manages to keep that out. That would have really been the icing on the cake. What is it? I just don't understand. 13 shots. 4 on target. 7 off target. We've let them have 3 clear-cut chances. We've had 57% possession. And we're shitting the bed. Unreal. Foster has had probably the worst game of his life. He just isn't doing anything with it. Candy out to Young. We're being outpaced again. I may need to drop them back. They're just, they just they're just not fast enough. And that is Lewis off as well. Just to put the icing on the fucking shit cake. Unbelievable. Yeah, and the slowest walk over to send him off as well. Just go. Just bugger off, Lewis. Unbelievable. Don't even just 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 end the game. Unreal. So there we go. What I thought had started out as an excellent episode with a 5-2 win uh, actually turns into one of the worst episodes we've had with a draw and a defeat in games that we really should have probably won both. And I cannot believe that game against Dartford, man. We just... I may just need to drop him back or something because it really wasn't working. Still, we're still top of the league. That's all we can hope for right now. Let's hope this doesn't turn into a bigger wobble. Hopefully, next time you're back, we'll have righted the ship again.